what is the cost of insulin? Approximately 7.6 million Americans with diabetes use injectable insulin. Injectable insulin costs approximately three to six dollars to make every vial. When you're at the counter, it often costs hundreds of dollars to acquire your insulin for the month. In the year 2021, if you were uninsured, you paid approximately $8,000 out of pocket for insulin. There has been an increase in price of insulin by 1,200% in the last 10 years. That's 120% every single year. Insulin is a life-sustaining hormone. Healthy people make it themselves and it allows us to use our food as energy. If you do not have insulin in your system because you either do not produce it or you don't produce enough of it, you can have chronic high blood sugars. Chronic high blood sugars can lead to multiple chronic problems, including damage to internal organs and loss of eyesight, kidney and liver failure. It also can cause in a more immediate sense and buildup of acid in the blood, which is called diabetic ketoacidosis. This makes patients very sick, often requires hospitalization, and it can lead to death. Because the cost of insulin is so high, there are lots of people who pick up one month's supply and then they try to stretch it for multiple months because they don't have the money to pay every single month. This leads to people not using the therapeutic dose as prescribed by their healthcare provider and will cause the high blood sugars and can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis. Insulin was first really understood at the University of Toronto in 1921 by a team that figured out how the hormone worked in the body. They were so excited about this huge improvement in healthcare that actually allowed people with type 1 diabetes to survive. It was a death sentence before this. They opened the patent to allow any manufacturer that wanted to take a crack at making insulin a chance to do so to open it for equitable access. A lot of companies ended up taking that patent and they improved upon the insulin and made a new patent. Then, since then, they have made incremental improvements and they always end up getting a new patent for a new insulin that is more effective than their last insulin. Because of that, they are not able to get to the step of creating a generic, which is what most people use as a affordable version of medications. It also has made it so there's not a lot of competition, which has increased the prices as well. The Affordable Care Act was an attempt to help all Americans afford health care. It increased the number of people who had health insurance and insulin prices rose during that time frame in an attempt often to make the insurance companies pay manufacturers more money. However, there was a huge disparity for those from a lower socioeconomic class who did not have health insurance as they ended up paying 50% more for their, or for their insulin than they did prior to the ACA being in place. There has now become pressure from federal and state levels for manufacturers to cap the price of insulin and make it only a certain amount. Manufacturers have stepped forward and said that they will cap their own prices. However, we cannot become complacent with manufacturers making promises. What we need to do is stand up and support policy that is being put in place both statewide and federally to cap the price of insulin. We need to stand up for fair and equitable access to healthcare and medication. 
What we can do on a micro level is check in with our clients to see if they are using their insulin at the therapeutic dose or if they're rationing. And if they're rationing, we can check in on if they need access to health insurance or if we need to refer them somewhere else to get more affordable insulin. Every single person deserves the dignity of access to life-sustaining medical care without the cost being a concern. This is their lives and they will not live without this insulin. And that is what the ultimate cost is. Thank you.